There are even older dignities in the towns of this north country. Not far is Minden, sanctuary for another people yearning to breathe free. This is Germantown Colony, one of the first German settlements in America. A group of Germans left Germany for the purpose of worshiping as they pleased. Their leader was Count Leon. He believed there'd be a second coming of Christ and he wanted to be the one to welcome him. Then they left there and came to Grand Decor, Louisiana at Nacogdoches where the log jam stopped them and yellow fever struck. And that's where so many died with yellow fever. So did the count. So the countess knew this was his place of coming. He was looking for a place as near like Jerusalem. This is the same latitude as of Jerusalem. She came on here. She helped the colony together to 1871 when her daughters married and she joined them and went to Hot Springs, Arkansas. Florence Krauss has lived here for more than 55 years. Her husband's family is of the original lineage to a colony that flourished here until the Civil War ruined the economy and doomed their way of life. Grandparents came from Germany and settled here, raised their family here. There was 11 children in my husband's family. A recent restoration effort spearheaded by descendants of the colony lets you drift through their countess's home to see the old piano where she taught lessons in music and propriety to young ladies. The community kitchen is still here, as is the barn and smith works. The German settler's farm equipment tells of long days and an ethic retained near their new Rhine, the Red. But we really shouldn't stray too far from the river's trail. We'll crisscross it many times on our way south, and for now, take the West Bank, 